What's up viewers, you just bought an Ethan Wan general switch, but don't know how to get started? Find out in this video. You have the serial cable, you have a start guide, and the switch itself. Now we're gonna show you how to power it. This switch specifically is an ED3575. For more info about this product, check it out in the description below. And on the top here, we have a green rectangle. What this is, it's a terminal block used for clean termination and providing power to the switch. And the things that we'll need are here. We need a power AC cord that has three prongs on one side and the three cables on the other side. We need a screwdriver. We'll also need a power supply. For this video, we'll be using the Phoenix Contact Trio Power, a general purpose cable. This specifically is a 16 gauge stranded cable. We need some ferrules, crimpers, and a cable stripper. Let's get started. So first we're gonna power our power supply. And what you wanna do is take the stranded cable and kinda give it a good twist so the strands are kinda, you know, tightened together. And ferrules are really good to use. What they are, they're kinda like a plastic termination tool. Those stray strands, they could cause an electrical short, which means system failure. So we're gonna put these on. After you give it a twist, take the crimper. Crimp, and now you have it ready. And we're gonna do that for all three wires. And you wanna insert these where it says black in North America is generally the live wire. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert it. The white one is neutral and the green is ground. So I'm gonna get that wired up. And as you can see, that's a really clean termination look. And this is the power that's gonna go to our switch. Just get a little strand, cut it. This is the power cable that's gonna go from the power supply to our switch. And I already have one done for you. This is what it looks like. I put this in here and I kind of look at where the power one and the ground one is. And based on the wiring that's done on the power supply, my red one is positive and black one is negative. So I'm gonna put the red cable into my P1 power one and put my black into the ground. You insert the ferrule in there and tighten it up. And I inserted another cable in here just for funsies so we can power two switches at once. It's the same exact thing and you just insert it, drop it in. So I did one with the ferrules and without the ferrules just so you can see a difference. This, as you can see, this one is done with the ferrules, all clean termination and this one without the ferrules and it has some flares as you can see, some parts are flaring out. Now we take our AC power cord and fire it up. So as you can see, lights are coming on to the switches. Our power supply has a green light on it, on DC okay, which means we wired everything correctly. Great, so we're able to take the switch right out of the box and power it up successfully. The next step is to learn how to access the switch. So check out these videos here where we learn how to do that. As always, thank you for watching. Let's make it happen with that zero distance.